Hey everybody, welcome to my Paisley Feather tutorial. So this is the design that we're gonna be talking about today. Here is another drawing of it. Let's break this down and show you guys how you can start practicing. Now there are two shapes involved in this. You need to be able to make an echoed Paisley, which is just a teardrop shape that you then echo. And you need to be able to make an echoed swirl. Like so. Let's add one more. So I'm learning repeatedly that echoing is everything in free motion quilting. So echo, echo, echo. And then you simply combine these two designs by adding the paisleys along the edge of the swirl. Now, I have tried to do other feather designs in the past, and I will revisit those since I've been practicing my free motion quilting and my skills have improved. But I think the reason I have found more success with this design than with others is because I'm very comfortable with both the swirls and the paisleys. And somehow it makes it a lot less daunting to, to do you know, a feather, if I think of it as it swirls and paisleys, it swirls and paisleys. Now, something that's hard to demonstrate in marker without just being incredibly tedious is the tricky part of this design is not the swirls and the paisleys, it's the echo stitching. So for example, I've gotten to the tip here and if I were quilting, I would echo stitch back down because I want my paisleys to still look like they're growing from the bottom down here, and that's going to be harder if I'm stitching them backwards. The other thing that I'm not showing in how I draw this is that I would echo stitch here and here to build the next paisley if I were working on my machine. When I'm working with a sharpie, it's easier to just simply pick up my pen and keep going. Um, but that's something to keep in mind that you may want to do a drawing where you practice that motion. Also with this design, don't be afraid to rearrange your quilt often. I definitely turn to my quilt more than I often do when I was practicing this on the machine. Now, as you build this design, you may have swirls that come this way. You may have swirls that come this way. They may go up and over. And there are a couple of ways you can fill in some of those gaps. You can add more little swirls with paisleys, or you can just add paisleys filling in. It's kind of the best example. Here's the best example of that on this one. The other thing you can do, as you might have seen at the beginning, is, pardon my notebook flipping here, you can fill in with pebbles. And I will put some references to Angela Walter's recent posts as well, because she's also been showing this design this week. And she has some lovely drawings with pebbles and switchbacks, just to give you some ideas of how this incredibly gorgeous design can grow organically across your quilts.